EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. Videos in earlier sections have talked about pure substances that are modeled as real fluids as well as pure substances modeled using the ideal gas assumption. This video is going to introduce psychrometric properties, and psychrometrics is the term used to refer to the study of mixtures of air and water vapor at conditions near atmospheric pressure and temperature. The properties of these mixtures are of practical interest for many heating and cooling applications. EASE provides property information for psychrometric mixtures when the fluid air H2O is used as the fluid name. Air and water vapor mixtures behave according to the ideal gas law at atmospheric pressure. However, psychrometric property functions differ from the ideal gas property functions in that there is an extra degree of freedom introduced related to the concentration of water vapor that is contained in the air, and therefore an additional third property is required to fix the state when air H2O is used. This third property must somehow be related to the concentration of water vapor. And the amount of water vapor can be quantified in terms of its humidity ratio, which is defined as the mass of water vapor to the mass of dry air. It could also be defined in terms of the relative humidity, which is defined as the ratio of the vapor pressure of the water to the saturation vapor pressure of water at the same temperature. So basically how close uh, the, the mixture is to being saturated. Most of the thermodynamic and transport properties that are of interest for other ideal gas fluids, like specific enthalpy and thermal conductivity, are also available for air water vapor mixtures when you're using the fluid air H2O. And all of these functions are shown uh, in this table. But you should notice that there's other property functions that are specific to psychrometrics in this table as well. And these include things like the relative humidity, which is the rel -hum, uh, function, the humidity ratio, so the hum-rat ratio, uh, the dew point temperature, dew point, and the wet bulb temperature, wet bulb. The dew point temperature is defined as the temperature at which water will condense uh, when an air-water mixture is cooled at constant pressure. And the wet bulb temperature refers to the temperature that a wetted material, such as a piece of cotton, uh, would come to when it's exposed to humid air at a specified state. The wet bulb temperature is usually approximated as the adiabatic saturation temperature, uh, which is the temperature that an air-water mixture would achieve if it were humidified adiabatically. You should note that the specific properties for air H2O are all reported on a per unit mass of dry air basis, and this is the custom when you're using psychrometric functions. Detailed information about these properties is provided in textbooks like Klein and Nellis, as well as Nellis and Klein. Three properties must be included in order to fix the state when using any of the property functions with the substance air H2O, rather than just the two properties that are required to fix the state of a pure fluid. One of these three properties has to be pressure. And note that there is no pressure function in it for air H2O as there is for real fluids and ideal gases. The properties used to fix the state are identified in the usual way with a single case insensitive letter called an indicator followed by an equal sign. The one letter indicator uh, that's recognized in the psychrometric functions and their meanings are all listed here. Some of these indicators are also applicable for real fluids and ideal gases, uh, but there are a few here that are only applicable to the substance air H2O, and these include uh, B and D for wet bulb and dew point temperature respectively. R for relative humidity, and W for humidity ratio. To illustrate the usage of the psychrometric properties, let's determine the properties of an air-water mixture with a dry bulb temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, a pressure of 101.3 kilopascal, so atmospheric pressure, and 40% relative humidity. So the dew point and wet bulb temperatures are obtained using the dew point and wet bulb functions. And you'll notice here that the fluid is air H2O, and that three properties are provided, and the indicators for these properties are T, P, and R for relative humidity. Uh, other properties of interest might include uh, humidity ratio, specific volume, and specific enthalpy. And so I'll get those here using the functions humrat, volume, and enthalpy. And you can Note here that these specific properties returned by ease are per mass of dry air. And so, for example, the enthalpy here should be interpreted as 45.2 kilojoules per kilogram of dry air. 
And finally, the transport properties, conductivity, and viscosity can be obtained. So as with any ease property function, the combination of properties that can be used to fix the state is somewhat flexible. So for example, I can find enthalpy using pressure, specific volume, and the humidity ratio. And I'll do that here using the indicators V, P, and W. Again, pressure is always required as an independent property for air H2O. So this is one of a series of tutorials meant to describe the operation of the EASE software. If you'd like to get more information about EASE, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, uh, please go to the website fchart.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering EASE, which can also be obtained from the FChart website.